I'm Tommy D. He's Dallin Cuff. This is Rapid Fire. Let's talk Eastern Conference over-unders, one of my favorite things. It'll be fun. Miami, 65, over or under? Oh, uh, they're good. I know they're good. I would say, I was going to say 65. Can I go push? My first one? No, I'm not going to push. I'm going to go over. I'm going to take 66. I didn't give you the half point there. Boston, 51 and a half. I'm going to go, I'm going to go under because I don't think they're really playing for the regular season. I'm going to think they'll probably be at 50 wins. Chicago, 45 and a half. Under. I, I, I love D. Rose. It's where it starts and finishes with them, and we don't know when he's coming back. That's the, that's the, the key variable at that point. Indiana, who could surprise some people, 54 and a half. I like them a lot, but I, I probably had them around the 50 to 53 range. I'm going to take the under, but I think they're a very good team, and again, could be dangerous in the playoffs. The Knicks, 50 and a half. Wow, you got me frozen on the Knicks. <laughs> I'll take the over there. I think they can win nice. 52 games. Uh, 52 and 30 is where I kind of thought they would be. How about the Nets, the Brooklyn Nets at 48? I'll take the under there just because of lack of depth on their team. I'll take them around mid-40s. Another team very close, Philly, 47 and a half in my opinion. I'm taking over on a Philly because I do think Philly, I think they could possibly win the Atlanta division. If Boston does not play for the division, I think they might beat out the Knicks and be around the 53, 54 wins. Let's finish out the Atlantic division, Toronto, 41 and a half. I'm going to take the under. I like their team. I like what they did in the offseason, with the exception of Landry Fields. I think he got overpaid, but I'm taking the under on Toronto there. I appreciate your honesty, and I think everybody agrees with you. How about the Hawks at 41? I'll take the under there, too. I just don't think they've got the pieces to really put together a solid season. They'll be another lottery team. Can the Wizards win 20 games? I've got them at 19 and a half. they got a lot of young talent. They have a lot of wild cards. Can they put those things together? Can they play? I'll take the over. I'll put them at, like, 23. Oh, no, that's, that's a lot. Oh, okay. That is a lot. I mean, for them, that, that would be a great season, to be very honest. Yeah, I mean, they'd, be, they'd have a parade, I think. <laughs> Milwaukee Bucks at 34. Can Brandon Jennings carry the load for that? Yeah, I, I'm taking the under. I'd say they're about 30 and 52 type team. How about the Pistons at 30? Possible surprise team? Possible. I would, oh, that's a tough one. That's another one I want to push, but I'm not going to push. I'll take the over. I think they might win 32. Not much surprise that Charlotte, I have them at 15 and a half. Over or under? I want to take the over because I love MJ like all the rest of us. But Coach Dunlap is the, in the building. Yeah, yeah, I mean, yeah. I just, I don't, I don't know if that was a great hire to be honest. I love MJ, but I'm going to take the under. They're another brutal year. No, Dwight Howard. Can the Magic win 23 games? I think they can. I think, I think I'll put the over at like I think they may be 24, 25. That again, great year for them if they can actually achieve that. How good is Kyrie Irving? Can he get them to pass the quarter century marks? The Cleveland Cavaliers. Over or under 25. He's fantastic. Their team is not. I'm taking the under on that. Dallin is always great stuff. My pleasure. He's Dallin. I'm Tommy. That was Rapid Fire. Everybody have a great weekend.